Hey, what's up, everybody? Zeus back again. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the blacksmith battery. Yeah. <laughs> now, the blacksmith battery for 1,500 cow points seems like a really good deal um, because you're getting an M4, well, XM4, right? Not the M4, XM4. Um, and you're also getting a KSP45. Okay. Now. The Axum 4 is a really good gun. Um, I'd say out of the assault rifles in Cold War, uh, it's probably your second or third best option if you're taking it in a war zone. Um, first option being the Krig, and then after that, this one for me fights um, uh, the XM4 fights with the QBZ for second for second place. And this is second or third place. Um, now this is a wood looking pack or uh, blueprint, but he had said, and it's kind of reminds me of the emissary that you got in the uh, the emissary blueprint that you get from doing the Easter egg in um, the stadium where you have the wood stock, the wood handle, um, or the wood grip, better yet said, and also the wood barrel. Now, this looks to me because of the speed and everything and that this is more of a close range to mid-range assault rifle oh actually I lied the third this would be um, or this would fight for third because the FFR is actually a really really good gun and I enjoy the FFR for Warzone um, but the only thing about the FFR is that it's like a mid uh, mid to close, close to mid-range gun. It's not really a long-range gun, like uh, like the rest of the assault rifles. Um, so with that being said, we'll go back into this one. Yeah. Um, we have the 15 round fast mag. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm loving the print on the 15 round fast mag. It's a shame that they aren't allowing you to kind of mix and match um, blueprints yet. Um, they just what if you know. You have this blueprint, you stick it in, that's all you get, it's just this blueprint, you know, if you're trying to get like a different mag, you have a different foregrip or something you want to use, it's not going to mix and match it, so I kind of don't like that, but I do enjoy the gold on this one, it's really, really nice. Um, next up, we're going to go to the KSP, which for me is a totally different design. Oh, cats walk over my belly. Is a totally different design than the XM4. Now, I'm loving the like that kind of like heated, that overheated look that you get on the tip, on the muzzle of the barrel, and also the clip. Now, seeing this though, kind of makes me wish or like hope. Oh smokes! Did it just change color? Oh, it is changing color. Very interesting seeing and hoping that it probably would have at least had some sort of um, a tracer color on it right but wow seeing this now that's actually very very nice I didn't even notice that I don't know if you guys can see that but it is changing color it's going to like a like there it goes like a red orange and then it goes right back this would have been a great tracer. I think they skipped the ball on this one. Yeah, I think they skipped the ball on this one. This would have been a great tracer. Now, this being a long range SMG, all right, this is a burst shot SMG. With a 9.5 inch Ranger, you got a flash guard, you got a front grip, three times optic, and a duster stock. So you dusters for more speed in the, the 9.5 ranges for the distance, you know. It's it's actually not a bad mix and match pack. Now, like seeing this though, man, like seeing the way this is moving here, and compared to the XM, you know, what happened here? This is two two totally different packs. You know, two totally different packs. Seeing that right there is like, ah, man, they dropped the ball heavy. You know, um, you got the calling card here, which is nice. You know, nice little emblem, anvil. You know, take you back to the Looney Tune days. And you have a nice little sticker here, but 
Man, they really dropped the ball with this one. They really did. Oh, man. Before that, I would, you know, because it was a good, like, it, it almost covered everything, right? And it covered close to long range. But seeing that, I mean, it's just a blueprint itself. You get two different blueprints, and it does, like, two totally different things. They focused all their attention on the on the KSP. They took it all away from the XM. They could have gave that same look. I mean, can you imagine the XM with that little, like, that molten look, that molten shape going through the barrel up to the muzzle brake and even down through through the clip, through the magazine? You know, with the same, with the same uh, design that's on the magazine, right? Keep it a little gold or whatever or not. With that same little design as on the magazine, you would have had that molten change or even that, like, the lines molten and changing. That would have been amazing. You know, but yeah, for that right there, just alone, man, that this, <sighs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta drop it, man. I mean, this, this right now for me is, it became a solid C. You know, 1500, it's good if you don't have an XM4 or even a KS, uh, I say Kisper, um, but if you don't have a KSP, you know, this isn't a bad pack to really be, to, to really get because you get, Everything that you're gonna uh, fight for for an X, um, for the KSP, the only thing that you're missing is the magazine, the speed mag. But outside of that, you get the area, the arms, the 9.5 Ranger, you know, and you get a good duster stock. So it's nice. But damn, man, they really dropped the ball. That being said, man, uh, make sure you drop a like, a comment below. Um, let me know what you guys think as well. Please, you know, just tell me. And, um, yeah, follow me on social media. Until then, bro, thank you guys. Peace.